changing the brake pads on a um, 2008 RAV4, much like any other brake. Two 14 mm bolts, one up top, one on the bottom at the back here. You can see, just here, one there. I've already loosened them. I've already taken that one bottom one out. So you can see, it just slides off. Like so. I'm going to take the whole thing off though because I need to press that piston back in. So that's the old pads there. Still got a bit of life on them, wearing evenly, that's good. So I just need to press that in now. Just check that brake fluid level first, make sure it's okay. So it's down a bit, that's good. Some people top it up uh, thinking that they need to, but you, that's an indication to you've got low brakes. So good that this one hasn't been topped up. I can go ahead and press that piston in. So I'll try and do this with one hand, the Shay is. Um, so what you want to do is, I've probably explained this before, but I'll do it again. Uh, using the old pad so I can put something in the center of the press against. Now, all I want to do is turn slowly and there'll be no resistance. If I try and turn it too hard, it'll get too, it'll get hard to turn and I'm pushing too much pressure back through the line and I could bust ABS or some sort of sensor. Just, you know, nice and slow. Give it time to push the fluid back. Don't be in a hurry. Happens quick enough anyway, if you just take your time. And you can see that piston's almost all the way in. Just give it a second. And that's pretty much it. So I'll get the new shoes. So the new shoes are wrong. Same shape, wrong length. Just try and look on both. Yeah. Okay, the chassis number and everything is super cheap. Why it pays to bring the original with you. But anyway, so this can't be finished today. Uh, so it's already 6.30, so super cheap's closed. I'll have to do it tomorrow. Okay, so just finishing on the driver's side, and you can see the fluid level has come up to here now. So it's way past the full mark. But that should change once I apply brakes and pump some fluid back into the lines. Uh, so the piston expands back out we'll see what the marking is when we put it all back together but same as the left hand side I can finish this off I've got the proper pads now and uh, had to change the lug nut as well uh, the old one was threaded on so um, I'm trying to make this job quick as possible so what I did was just get the grinder because the rim that's on there is that one there allowed me the space I needed just to cut in there the grinder and then I could Hit it a few times with a hammer, get the lug nut off, take the wheel start out, change that while it's there. So luckily I'm doing the brakes. I can take the road off easy. Anyway, if you want to know, there's just two 17 mil on the back to get the caliper mount off. So take that off, take the rotor off, easy stuff. Um, okay, so now I'm gonna take put these pads on. Same on the other side, just slide it in like that. A bit tricky to do with one hand, but should be okay. Okay, put the caliper on. Okay, so the two 400 mils on the back, just to tighten that caliper back down. I'm have to use a bit of muscle power in a second to do that properly. Just using a little ratchet to show you. Okay, so now I'll put this wheel on. No, I'll tighten that up properly first, and then I'll put the wheel on. Now, a very important step, don't forget to do this. So once the brake pads are changed, start the car first. So the vacuum on the brake boost is working, and get a proper brake. So that's all the way to the floor. So we're gonna do that two or three times. Start the fill pedal now. Got a good hard push. Okay, it's back to normal. Okay, so if you don't do that, then you've got zero brakes when you go to drive. And you can see there, that's now the level is too high, it's past the maximum. So it didn't get down as far as I was hoping it would. Now that the both front brakes are changed, that should not be, that should come back to level once the front brake pads are changed. So, you know, someone's been here and topped this up before when they saw the fluid get low. Right, guys, well, thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.